हेलो दोस्तों वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल केम एफिनेटिव सो दोस्तों आज हमने एक आपके लिए एक इंटरव्यू अरेंज किया है ठीक है आई एस टी से एक आदित्य पोदार हैं वो आपको बताएंगे कि आई एस टी का कैंपस कैसा है उनका फैकल्टी कैसा है उनका रिसर्च पर्पज़ से कैसा है ठीक है उन वहाँ पर आपको जाना चाहिए कि नहीं और अगर जाना चाहिए तो किस वजह से जाना चाहिए वो सब वो डिटेल में डिस्कशन करेंगे सो थैंक्स टू सुभाष जाना एंड आदित्य पोदर दोनों को थैंक यू मैं क्या होना चाहूँगा तो वो इंटरव्यू आप खुद ही सुन लीजिए ठीक है मगर आगे बढ़ने से पहले अगर तुम मेरे चैनल पर नए हो तो चैनल को जरूर सब्सक्राइब कर देना और वीडियो को अपने दोस्तों के साथ ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा शेयर कर देना दोस्तों हम मैक्सिमम एन की ठीक है जो रिव्यूज़ है वो हम कवर करेंगे तो उसके लिए हमें बस आपकी सपोर्ट ज़रूरत है ठीक है आप हमें सपोर्ट करिए हम हर एक एन की रिव्यूज़ ले आएंगे उसके ही उस एन में पढ़ रहे हैं बंदे से हम आपको ये डिस्कशन कराएंगे ठीक है दोस्तों चलिए दोस्तों आगे बढ़ते हैं A warm greetings to everyone. I am Aditya Pothar, a student of IIST Shibpur, pursuing the master deg master's degree in chemistry. I got ad admitted in this institute in the year 2021, and my academic journey for the master's program will end in the year 2023. This is a two years master program. I got admitted to this institute. via jam the joint admission entrance for masters so to begin with i would like to share with my fellow uh, from my fellow friends and all the juniors who are willing to enter in this premium institute so to begin with the courses i would like to share about the topics that have been taught by the professors in this institute they mainly focus on all the core subjects of chemistry physical chemistry inorganic chemistry and organic chemistry to begin with physical chemistry all the basic subjects that were all the basic topics rather that were top that were taught in the bsc time course for every student are same as that for a master student in this institute only the difference is that the students need to study in a more advanced way by the teachers who are present in this institute they will be given some prescribed syllabus according accordingly as mentioned in the institute website so for the physical chemistry we can say that we have all the subjects related to quantum chemistry electrochemistry thermodynamics and many more that were taught in bsc chemistry and coming to the inorganic chemistry part we will have solid state chemistry we will have chemical bonding ionic bonding coordination chemistry and all the subjects that were taught to us in the bsc time course so now coming to organic chemistry we will be taught some of the major advances that the students have made in the organic chemistry in the recent years such as beginning with total synthesis in organic chemistry also we will have to study electrosynthesis in chemistry which deals with the backward synthesis process for many organic compounds that occur as natural products biomolecules and etc so these are the topics that are taught to each and every student as a core course topic such that every student in this department will have to go through this course for the time being and then uh, coming to the research perspective we have to go through some courses that are related to the field of research so uh, briefing about that i would like to generalize that for the second third and fourth semesters the students need to get a specialization regarding the inorganic physical and organic chemistry and that would depend upon the weightage of the marks that they obtain from the first semester exam 
accordingly they will be divided into physical inorganic and organic chemistry and they will need to choose their own guide according to their subject that they would like to pursue in the future career so relating to that i would like to say that physical chemistry in this institute teaches quantum chemistry electrochemistry spectroscopy and computational chemistry according to the field of researches for the various professors in this institute under the in in organic chemistry the professors are specialized in teaching nanomaterial chemistry bio organic chemistry solid state chemistry and in the field of organic chemistry the professors mainly focus on the field of research related to total synthesis cross coupling reactions and supramolecular chemistry now we would like to say that the environment here is very soothing for each and every student and the campus here is very green and no student are will be able to do any kind of uh, any kind of activities that will be harmful for any other student and also there is no ragging in this campus it's completely ragging anti ragging uh, institute so the uh, students here are very lucky to get an environment of complete teaching inside and outside the campus the teachers here are very friendly to each and every one and they are very free of any hesitation so regarding to any doubts and clarifications that the students need to during their course in this institute coming to that the uh, we can say that the hostels the hostels are not approved for everyone in this institute because this is not a residential college so there will be a form given to each and every student who gets admitted in this institute the students who wishes to stay in the hostels need to fill this form and they need to wait until and unless the students those who already those who are already staying in the hostel leaves the hostel according to the stipulated time so not every student will get the hostel facilities it will depend upon the distance from the respective homes and i would like to say that in this institute i primarily like to enjoy the hospitality hospitality of every teacher and the relationship that every teacher has with the students there is no such relation that will make the student feel less comfortable when he or she is studying in this institute each and every each and every teacher provides every sort of help in order to make the problems very much easy for the students who are studying in this institute i would like to say that there is no such uh, disadvantage studying in this institute except that uh, the administrative system in this institute is a bit nagging because uh, it the process and the works that are associated with the administrative people here are very slow and the student needs to cope with their patience 
so that they get their work done according to the time that the officials need to see so i think that uh, the students could cope up with their patients in the future as they try to stay in this institute they will get a good rapport build up with the deans and also with the teachers here so that will not be a problem when they will then they will be used to it and there are many questions regarding that uh, if uh, the students who are studying in this uh, complete science departments like physics chemistry maths will they get any time for preparing for the competitive exams i would like to say that the students need to find their own time for their respective competitive studies and competitive preparations because all the teachers here are completely supportive for each and every student whenever they will get any problems they can approach the teachers they will help regardlessly and but the, actually the course is very much uh i mean the course is very much big for any student according to the semester term that's a four month course so it will be pretty hectic for any student who will be studying in this institute so it will be dependent on the student it, itself how he will manage with the with his individual preparation for the competitive exams otherwise uh, he or she may thrive well for the future exams accordingly so it depends completely upon the student how he, he or she will manage her time in the preparation because all the professors here are completely supporting as i said in the first and they will also focus on their respective research as they will try to share their research experience during the course to all the students irrespective of their individual competitive preparation in this course of time regarding the placements issue i think that the placements for the department of chemistry specifically is now uh, not happening in this institute after the covid but uh, according to some statistics some of the students used to get good placements from our department of chemistry in the respective paints company in education in online educational platforms and also in some pharmaceutical companies in the in uh, in the years that were preceding before the covid uh, but now and in the years after i think that it will take some time for the department to manage the post covid situation and in 3 to 4 years i think that the placement will again start as it was in before so it will be also a advantage for the students who will be studying in this department in order to get a good feel about the placement environment how a student should get a placement or how a should student should get a job regarding their field of study be it organic be it physical or be it inorganic so that's it for sharing my experience and i would like to say in the end that you can come to this institute regardless of the disadvantages and the advantages you will enjoy it here and i hope to meet everyone soon in this campus those who are willing to get admitted in this institute thank you